The future of gadgets could exist inside of today's video because today we are looking at 20 newer and extremely old gadget ideas from the Brawl Stars community and I'm going to rank every single one of them. Whichever one gets the highest rating it gets bragging rights as the best gadget idea of today. You guys seem to really like it when I did this with gears so we're just going to keep doing it with other things in the game. The first one is from Ash Clash YT. It's the actual Ash that you guys probably know today but this was four years ago so he's been on this grind for a very long time but yeah the first idea is basically tick uh explodes himself he becomes so excited that he becomes completely immune to all damage for one second and then detonates himself so he dies so if you take this in showdown you could just die <laughs> dealing 3360 damage to enemies caught within five tiles around him to today's numbers this is really really bad but i'm assuming that this would be bumped up to like i don't know five six thousand damage considering you're literally taking yourself out of the map I'm gonna be honest, I think we're missing an ability like this in the game. I know it sounds stupid, but I, I would like to see it. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 right off the bat. Next one is from Carnage Game, who you guys all probably know. And this one is called Nutrient Boost. Eve basically eats water, gets health, and the water is gone. So this would be a really good thing to take on certain maps. Although Eve benefits from the water, you could also help your team by removing the water. It's kind of like a wall breaker, but a little bit different. It would make her even more unique as a brawler. I would take this over her second gadget any day of the week. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 as well and by the way if there's a tie of a bunch of 9 out of 10s at the end of the video then i'm gonna choose one to pick as the actual winner new gadget idea for bb from i'm a cheese it's called swing it bb swings a 360 radius around her with her bat and it knocks people back and stuns them this one was also four years ago so closer to the introduction of gadgets in the first place and at this point a huge batch of gadgets were literally just 360 spins around the brawler so i'm assuming that that's where this is coming from i wouldn't hate this but i don't know if i would and love it it's not like a bad idea but i do feel like too many brawlers already have this so i'm gonna give it a uh, eight out of ten charlie new gadget idea from puzzle headed rent 7058 charlie shoots a big web on the closest enemy that slows down any enemies which come in contact so i was actually hoping that at some point charlie would have a big spider web that she could place on the ground she doesn't however i found this idea it barely has any upvotes for some reason but i do think that this is a pretty good idea it reminds me kind of of a squeaks residue with how big it is and how long it lasts but like with some balancing i feel like this could be kind of cool it seems like it auto aims onto the closest enemy which is probably even more broken considering you don't even have to use your ammo to use this so yes it would be broken but i do think it's a good idea so i'm gonna give this a uh, eight out of ten if it was balanced because this seems broken so we have another idea from ash from four years ago new gene gadget called helping hand i don't know why gene doesn't have this this is actually an amazing idea gene will immediately pull himself to his nearest teammate so either like him pulling himself to somebody else this mechanic actually does not exist in the game or pulling a teammate to you is also a good idea i can see how people could use that to troll though so like kind of reversing it where you're pulling yourself to somebody else i think is an incredible idea that should be in the game in the first place again nine out of ten for another ash idea now we have a Lou gadget idea from pineapple who you all know and love this one is called insta freeze so if you throw your super on water it turns it into ice and therefore people can walk on it they can slip and slide over it this is also an incredible idea i kind of wish that his super would do this in the first place i think that would just be a good mechanic considering how his super is it's a giant snowstorm it's probably very cold in there i would assume and you're already slipping and sliding inside of the loose super so if you put it on water you know it turning into ice would kind of make sense so gadget aside i just think that this is a really good idea for the game in the first place so i'm gonna put this in the finals with a 9 out of 10 as well i think it deserves it so now we have a gadget idea for leon from ash and by the way when i was looking up gadget ideas i was looking for the ones that had a decent amount of upvotes and then some that had less but a lot of them that had a lot of upvotes are from these creators who we all know today which i just think is kind of cool this one is called intangent upon activation leon can bypass walls and obstacles for three seconds leaving his lollipop behind so it essentially turns him into a ghost this reminds me of kane from league of legends because this is exactly what he can do would this be broken on leon probably if this isn't on leon i could see this ability coming to somebody in this game this is a very good gadget idea in the first place for a new brawler if third gadgets come to the game then i could totally see this coming to leon as well it is situational but it is his form of countering certain brawlers who can hide behind walls 
it's just a pretty good idea. It would probably be broken, but it would be fun. I'm going to have to give this another 9 out of 10. Now we have a gadget idea from Consistent Produce 1. This one is for Spike. It's called Cactus Horde. Upon activation, a trail of cactuses will follow the closest enemy. Each cactus will do 800 damage to anybody who runs into one. This was also four years ago, so the numbers could be tweaked, but I do think it looks kind of goofy. I don't really know how this one would really play out. It doesn't even seem like it's properly following the robot, but I get it. It's just an image. So this is another one of those where you don't even have to aim it. You would just click the button and it would go. I think it's a decent idea, but since today we know that Spike can already put a cactus on the floor, I feel like this might be a little bit overkill with that one already being in the game. But I won't lie, I do think that this could be a better replacement for his first gadget. For that reason, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. A lot of these are actually really good ideas, so that's why the ratings are usually high. So this next one is from two years ago from Strawberry God 6. New idea for Janet, emergency landing on activation. Janet immediately exits her jetpack, landing on the ground and healing 1000 HP. This is kind of like Bull's Stomper gadget. It's something that I somewhat wish was just in her base kit, so then you could use her super in a variety of ways, because currently you just kind of get stuck in the air with it, similar to how you get stuck in the dash of Bull's super if you don't have that gadget. But imagine you could just use her super to go over a wall, you use the gadget, you land. Obviously, you have to choose that gadget over other options, and the other options are also good. But then she also has that gadget that just lets her jump over a wall, so would this just ruin that gadget? I'm not sure. What I'm trying to say is, I think it's a good idea. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Next gadget is from Puzzle Headed Rent 7058. <laughs> Griff gadget idea. It's called I Like Money. Griff pulls money from everywhere, dealing damage to enemies that come in the way of his gains. This one is absolutely wild. It looks way too broken considering how much damage his coins actually do, bro. Look at that. So I'm going to give this one like a 6 out of 10 lowest score of the video but it's still not a horrible idea it's just too broken so we have another one from puzzle headed rent it's uh, miko's third gadget idea so the first uh, possibly the first third gadget idea of the whole video got a sweep miko swings his mic sweeping enemies and throwing them away so you jump on somebody and it pushes them. Oh, okay. So you have to jump on them for it to work. I was hoping that it would be a thing that just pushes them away without needing to use your ammo. But it pushes her really far, bro. Look at that. <laughs> She's gone. It's not a horrible idea, but having to jump on them makes it less of a good idea. So I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. New tick second gadget idea. So this was in the early days of gadgets. It's from Rock G 1035 This one is called Elasta Resource. Tick instantly explodes, dealing 5,000 damage to nearby enemies and survives with one hp so this one is a slightly different idea than the one that ash made at least this one lets you live however that much damage while being able to survive after it if you know you're in a safe position this is the best gadget this game has ever seen plus tick is already good enough with the head that he has so he could deal like 8,000 damage in like under a second just by using his super and then this any brawler in the game pretty much is instantly dead if not critical health so this is definitely too much so i'm gonna give this one a six out of ten so we have three more gadgets to look at right now this one is from narek 265. First one for Squeak is called Hachu. Squeak sneezes and throws eight small sticky bombs in all directions, each of which deals 700 points of damage. So it's just one of those things where it's a 360 radius around you. I personally don't like those, so I'm going to give this one a four out of 10. Next one is for Bell. It's called Encrypted Lock. Bell detonates the spotter from the enemy, stunning him for 1.5 seconds. This is actually an incredible idea. The only way to get rid of Bell's mark is to wait a super long time or to just die or she puts it on somebody else. Maybe 1.5 seconds is too long maybe it doesn't stun them at all and it just slows them or something overall i think this is a really good idea it's a good kill confirm and yes it'll make bell an even better brawler which does she really need to be i'm not sure but it also would help if somebody's trying to attack her as a replacement for her traps that she has all i'm saying is this one's getting nine out of ten for me next one is uh for pam pam increases turrets range by 50 percent for five seconds that's another really good idea i kind of wish that we had something else in this game besides like melody's uh gadget that expands the radius of something that is on the field. I think it's a good idea, but I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Next up, we have a gadget for BB. It's called Batter Up. This one is from X Sweezy Sweezy 8. On activation, BB's next attack becomes a long range baseball. It deals 2000 damage. So it kind of reminds me of like Clay Pigeon, but it's only for one attack. I think it having some kind of special effect added to it besides just doing damage and having range would make it a bit more worth using since her super already has good range, but it's not a bad idea. I like that she would actually hit a baseball with her bat because currently she only only hits people with it. I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. Next gadget idea is from 
pog loud whistle buzz slows down enemies within his supercharged circle for 2.5 seconds and deals 200 damage i guess the 200 damage would just be for like a poke but this reminds me of a couple gadgets that are already in the game i kind of think this would be a little bit too broken and i feel like we've seen it one too many times it would be good for buzz though don't get me wrong like it definitely would be good i'm just gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 though and then another gadget idea for buzz is called self-help buzz removes all of his ammo and heals himself for 6,000 health so you would really have to make sure that you're safe before you use this because you're just eating all of your own ammo i'm gonna give this one a 4 out of 10 this one is not very good gadget idea for colette from three years ago from legendary 1769 colette's next super goes through walls but only deals 10 percent damage that is useless <laughs> igor what do you think Oh, he don't like it. No, yeah, uh, I'm gonna give this one a 1 out of 10. And the last gadget of the video is the second gadget ID for Byron before he had a second one from three years ago from Kedchuchu2211. <laughs> Snake and Drain, Byron's next attack, drains the enemy charge super if it hits the enemy. This is a new mechanic we've never seen before, which is why this video is called The Future of Gadgets because there's so many mechanics that I expect will be in the game at some point, and these people are just predicting them years in advance. It would make sense on Byron too, so I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 we have a lot of contenders to go through for the finals so we have helping hand for gene where you pull yourself to a teammate we have nutrient boost for eve where you eat water and then you get health from it very good mechanic we have snake and drain where you deplete enemy super charge which is really cool we have encrypted lock where bell uses her mark she deletes the mark but gets a special effect either stunning or slowing somebody from deleting her mark we have the leon one where he can go through walls insane idea the one where you can freeze water also insane and then the one where tick explodes himself I have to choose one of these, but I want you guys in the comments to pick your favorite right now. So I'll give you three seconds, three, uh, two, one. If you didn't do it, you cringe. All right, I'm tied between the one where Leon goes through walls, the ice one, and this one where Gene can pull himself to a teammate. Okay, call me crazy, but I'm actually gonna go with this Leon one. I think that this will be a mechanic in the game relatively soon. I could be completely wrong about saying that, but I'm just gonna assume that a new brawler in the future, soon within the next year, might have this mechanic as a gadget. If anybody from Supercell is watching, pass on the message, tell them to do this, so then it seems like I'm predicting the future. <laughs> so this is the 10 out of 10 gadget idea for the video if you enjoyed the video slap like subscribe and i'll see you later have a good night guys